Hi, good morning, Les from Thailand, retired and living the dream. So today's video is, I have moved to Thailand for good. There's no way I'm going to move back to the UK, no matter what happens. So I'm going to have a little walk along the, the lakes, just around the corner from my house. So the reasons for deciding to move to Thailand for good, there are many. I've lived here now for 12 years. So I love every minute of living here in Thailand. And as I say, the beauty, the cost of living, the surroundings, the people, the crime rate, you get my drift with regard to what I'm on about. There is no place that I've been to, and I've been around the world, I've traveled around the world for two years, that I can liken it to Thailand. There are many, many beautiful places around the world, but with beautiful places, it costs a lot of money to live. Where here in Thailand, I mean, as I said, this is the lakes. Our house is called Lake Home. Now, as I say, on our doorstep, we've got three or four lakes like this. Many people come past many hours away here fishing. So anyway, to get back onto the story with regard to I've made Thailand my home and I'm never going to move back to the UK. Many people say to me about, about health insurance and things like that. I'll see my dying days out here in Thailand. I've made the decision that if anything happens where I forget a, a terminal illness and things like that, I will see my days out here in Thailand. I'd sooner have my final resting days or my final days here living in look at this beautiful blue sunshine skies beautiful scenery beautiful people rather than stuck in like this time of year now winter time in in uh, the uk and it's dark nights like half past three four o'clock in the afternoon it's dark and it gets light again half past eight or so on the morning you can see I'm painting a rosy picture of, of why I'm living here in Thailand and the cost of living is so so reasonable here I mean there's another little view of the lake as I said that this is just one lake and then there's another lake a little bit past there and then there's another lake just over there so look at this it's a million dollar view and I'm living on a, my fire brigade pension. And living on that amount of money isn't a lot of money in reality over here. Uh, about 60,000 baht a month. 1,300, 1,400 a month. And that pays for absolutely everything to live here. So I, I deal with all sorts of things over here with helping people to relocate over here in the past couple of weeks i've had a couple of subscribers come and just lately i had this canadian guy moving moving over from canada he, he wants to pull the trigger and move over here full time so he's living here now for six months and he's gone to chiang mai and uh he's making a wise choice i think i mean chiang mai is lovely and what you can get for your money in compared to canada i spent four days with him me and my wife we picked him up from the airport we went had a night in patty because it was firework display and then we had a, a, a day at Corsamet again another lovely day and then after that it was the uh, like a tongue festival so he sort of hit the ground running after for four days so the time difference he did very very well with the time lag and things like that and uh it's been a week now since he's been up to Chiang Mai and he's loving it. But then again, I said to him, for the first six months or so, you're going to be on holiday mode as we all would be. Um, but he's discovered life can be better outside of your home country. So for those people who are thinking of making the move, just come and have a look at it for five or six months. You know, spend a decent amount of time here and uh, then you'll get the full picture. But I'm just, <laughs> just walking around the lake. 
and in reality this is the first time I've actually walked around the lake I mean look at it you know many people on the evening time are dusk setting people walk around here for exercise and uh, what a nice location to do a bit of exercise uh, there's something going on over there with the tires and looks like they're setting up another a farm with regard to um, oh, is it a farm or it might be a motocross motocross track looking at the soil over there so yeah we had a big motocross Thai people don't like the sun so driving a motorbike with an umbrella <laughs> you see plenty of that going on but yeah in this area we had a couple of um, big big top class motocross events as well so maybe they're making a, another motocross circuit who knows we'll find out in time but if anybody's got any questions or they want to know about living here in Thailand I deal with visas medical insurance I can point you in the right direction as I say I've lived over here for for 12 years now and um, yeah I know a little bit about living in Thailand do I know everything no nobody knows everything so yeah, I've been retired now for 14 years and I've loved every minute of it. And the one thing I've got to say about people who come to Thailand is that have something to do. Otherwise, if you get bored, then you'll end up on the bar stools and then being a bar stool warrior. So you've got to have something to do, have some interest, the fishing or the snorkeling or swimming or stuff. You've got to do something. Retirement life is wonderful. But if you're doing nothing every day, then I understand people who get bored. So that's my little flip on uh, living in Thailand. And I hope you can see what I'm seeing in it just by the, the videos and the photographs. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next time, bye for now.